Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we're playing none other than uh, Teamer Adventures in Wilds of Eldraine Early Access. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to play this deck. Uh, contrary to maybe popular opinion, I actually really loved playing Teamer Adventures back in the day. I love the versatility of it. You know, there's a lot going on with that deck in terms of thinking and options and stuff like that, which I tend to enjoy. This deck is a far cry from that but it's still very fun to play and very fun to figure out and i'm definitely curious for your opinions in the comments i've gone through several different iterations with this deck and what i have here i think is the best i've come up with so far and it certainly has some serious merits to it so uh, number one the curve is always going to be very good because of the adventure mechanic you will always have something to do on two right you got the viper to bounce something on two questing druid just drop a two mana one one that grows every turn on two deal two damage to anything on two uh, you can also just ramp on two or uh save back the horn locked whale to essentially bounce your opponent's creature put it on the top or bottom of the library so you're always going to have things to do early so you're not really worried about the curve so that's one plus of this deck second plus is there is decent draw power we do not have uh, escape to the wilds just like the five mana exile five cards play an extra land you know it's pretty busted this is our best approximate of that you get seek thrills for five mana instant adventure mill seven cards then put all cards that have an adventure from among the milled cards into your hand it's not bad. I mean, you'll you'll draw like five cards off of this and all those cards will have two sides. So you, you get like, you know, you get like six to eight cards worth of value off of this thing. It is substantial. It's different from Escape to the Wilds, but it's not zero. Like it does feel pretty good to pull off. And then the flip side of this is a three mana four four body with trample that causes all your permanent spells that have an adventure to cost one less to cast, which matters to make, you know, your kind of more expensive stuff a little bit cheaper too. So all that's solid. And then you also have the card draw engine of Virtue of Courage. Early game, two mana instant, pick off their thing for two damage, fine. You know, if you get to turn five and you've successfully held off the board state by bouncing stuff repeatedly, then you can play this for five. And then whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, you can exile that many cards from the top of your library. You can play those cards just this turn. So that means subsequent virtue of courages can pseudo draw you two cards. Uh, the Scalding Viper can pseudo draw you one card. And even the Frolicking Familiar Blow Off Steam can draw you a card. This is in the deck. I tried out some different things. I tried the Otter on one. This is not an Otter deck. This is not an aggro deck at all. There's probably another prowess deck you can try this thing out in, uh, but this is like a dirtle around and stall until the late game and then hopefully overwhelm your opponent with all the resources you've collected via adventures. Um, but I do like this card. Uh, if you remember um, Spikefield Hazard, the lands that you can either play it as a tap land or deal one damage to any target was actually very good and allows you to pick off a lot of one drop creatures that have one toughness. Think Thalia, think other, you know, small mono red or mono white weenie stuff. So there's some versatility there. You can always just go face to get the extra draw of Virtue of Courage and then play it back as a three man and a 2-2 body, um, basically with prowess, and because an instant sorcery spell gets plus one plus one. So yeah, I, I've tried a lot of different one drops, including play with fire to go with virtue of courage and the otter. And I think the frolic and familiar probably is about right. It does a number of different things. So you got the draw engine of virtue, the draw engine of Baluna, which is pretty absurd. And then uh, you can also play Sentinel of Lost Lore, three mana, three, four. When there's a battlefield, you can basically return a card you've played for the, the first half of it, the adventure side, get it back to your hand. So if you, you know, bounce the creature with a Lockwell, you can then return the Lockwell to your hand and then bounce something again next turn. Same with this Golding Viper. So this card's very good. It also exiles your target uh, player's graveyard, so that's pretty decent. And if your opponent's playing adventures, you also strip them of one of those two. Also, it's not legendary. He looks like a legendary creature, but he's not. So you can play multiples of these and just like a very solid card to get more of a cursive value from this deck. And then the last thing that's very good is the stalling. Uh, the stalling off the whale, the stalling off the viper. You really do have a lot of time to dirtle. The problem with this deck that I haven't quite solved yet is there's no win con inherently there's no beanstalk giant that comes in as a 20 20 late game and then you attack and fling or it's a 10 10 you attack for damage and then fling it or something like that like your best shot is you do get these decent bodied creatures uh, a five four with reach a six six with ward two you know these are okay to finish the game but they're not impressive game ending threats by themselves so still have to figure that part out you'll certainly have a lot of value you'll be able to stall for a long time but the question is how to win the game i think the answer might be to throw in one copy of two-headed hunter and give something double strike you know maybe you flash in a whale you got something else out you attack with both your opponent blocks one you can give the other one double strike at instant speed maybe that's the fling we need to get there uh it doesn't do a whole lot by itself though so it's really just in there for the fling 
You could also play the Otter. It would be at sorcery speed. You could put a ton of plus one, plus one counters on something out of nowhere to make it big. But again, it's at sorcery speed. So maybe an Otter and a Headhunter. But the Otter is just so bad on one. You just don't want to end this deck at all. So I think at least one, two Headed Hunter got it, has got to go in there. But I will say it's super fun. If you like Teamer Adventures, give it a go. You'll have lots of fun <laughs> dirtling around and bouncing things. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I'm looking forward to playing with it more. So leave your comments below if you think you can improve the deck. I'm very curious what you have to say. Watch the whole video to the end. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the play with some removal, we'll keep this. Let's start here. Jund. All right. It's a reef turn. We could just play the Viper early. It's kind of cute. I'm in for it. Two damage. Okay, Viper down. No dragons to reveal in hand, at least not yet. We don't got a whole lot to do here. Just chilling out. Lots of pseudo removal and bounce stuff. Maybe try to get a Virtue of Courage. Ready to go. Dragons, Jun Dragons. Okay, I think one of these guys is getting played for five mana, so I'm just gonna dome the opponent. Cool, we have enough land for sure. So it's not the worst thing to see. And we'll chill out here. I think we'd like to play Virtue of Courage next turn. And then uh, uh, Embrith Blaze after that. Kind of start drawing ish cards. Okay, they do nothing. Uduwara. Cool, let's get this first one online. And now we got some pseudo draw power in the deck. Plenty of little things to ping the opponent down a little bit. I'm okay with that. Maybe they have a Bosiege here. Maybe they kill the enchantment immediately. Wouldn't love that. Ooh, okay. Exile two cards off the dragon. You may look at and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, both of them. Okay, that's pretty good for the opponent. Three mana, draw two, instant speed. Okay, here's the dragon. Hmm. I mean, we can start with the virtue. And going face is fine. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we can play out one of these guys. We'll take you. And maybe bounce the dragon. They redraw it and then draw two more. I don't know how great that is. Okay, Tarkir part two. All right, they're going after the first Tarkir. Go ahead and bounce this guy. They probably put it on top. I mean, it's a pretty good card. Cool. They got a lot of mana then though. They leave it on top. We have more whales to burn here. Uh, this turn we'll probably flash in a whale. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder if they use another dragon from hand right now. Seems like they might. We're not playing the next Virtue of Courage because uh, they just cycle this. We don't have any uh, damage to pair with it yet. Dragon returns, sure. All right, we'll play the first whale here. It does have ward too. It's a little expensive to interact with, but they got four mana ready. Let's see if it gets go for the throated. It does pay ward two. So be it. We can bounce and run this back all again. So Kenzen. Okay. We got plenty of blue here. Land is okay. And yeah, we'll run out the, uh, again, bounce the dragon and then play out the whale again. They do get the treasure out of the deal. It's only target attacking creature. Okay. Back on top with you. Or on the bottom. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Ugh, okay. That's interesting. 
All right, you got it. Search your library for a card. Pretty scary. I guess they just want more removal for the whale. What are they going to get here? Or maybe another hoarding broodlord, just chain them. That's a lot. This is an expensive card. Eight is non-trivial, even with uh, the little rampy dragon. Okay, here comes the next whale. We could bounce the broodlord for four. It's not amazing. I think we offer the attack here. See what they want to do. Take the trade. Okay, that's okay. Ooh, or a dragon you control dies. Hmm, missed that. Well, it's a sushi, okay. Again, we can whale, we can send the next whale in still. We really need some card draw. Breach, that's not good. <laughs> that's not very good at all. All right, okay, hmm, not loving this. Not loving this. It's a whale and a broodlord. I mean, we can bounce the whale back to us, which is maybe the play here. Okay. Is this how we want to do this? I think it's pretty reasonable. Bounce you. Pay ward two. Can they give it hexproof? They're acting like they can do something here. Please don't. They want to kill it, but they don't, they can't pay the ward two, right? So I think they kind of goof that. Oh, they can pay the ward two? That's unfortunate. Decline. Well, we'll bounce you anyway. Hmm. I feel like they shouldn't have enough mana to do that. I thought they only had two mana open. Maybe you can target your own stuff without paying the ward cost. I guess that's what happened. Uh, an opponent controls. Yeah, okay. I guess you can target your own stuff. Fair. This is okay. This lets us draw a card. We can actually draw two if we Virtue of Courage, but we have to play them this turn. I think that's worth it. Ideally, we get a land here. It's a fast land, unfortunately. That's okay, though. Do you want to return this thing? They get to keep exiling cards. It's not great. I'll tell you, it's not great. We got. We, I don't want to give them the other dragons, though. So I guess we're doing this. Whew. Doing our best, man. Yeah, returns. Go get another card in your deck, whatever you want. And we got it. We got to get a board state going. We need everything. We need more card draw. We need the freaking mill seven. Okay, that's a draw two. Start here. Okay, this can bounce the Viper back to the hand. Or the Whale. That's pretty good. The Familiar also draws cards. So we could start here. Okay, we're making moves here. Alright, I definitely want one of you guys, at least. I think we take the whale back. Or we can bounce this thing. The whale's good, though. Hold on, where's the whale? I guess we're just bouncing with this instead. Now, this one's pretty good. Exile your graveyard. And now we have one more mana to spend this turn, which I don't think we can use for anything. So, I think that's it. <laughs> 23 cards left in the deck. We gotta we gotta figure out a win con soon. A lot of dirtling. Ooh, take all of those? Alright. I think a lot of them are already gone, maybe. There's only one there. Uh there are already two there, so they strip one from the deck. Another 22 cards. Okay, opponent continues to go there. We got the whale back though. 
Let's put you back on top or bottom. We could actually still win here. Sushi. We can bounce you as well. I don't think we need the mill. Mill 7 seems a little aggressive. What is left? Ah, this isn't working. Hmm. Maybe we mill? Maybe we take it? We need. I think we might need some more gas. Okay, I'm okay with this. Alright, let's gas it up. Four mana left over. 14 cards. We have another whale, which is good. So we only want to spend two more mana this turn. So let's make it the druid. Hold the next whale. Okay, the game goes on. They draw back into their favorite dragon. It's my favorite whale. <laughs> favorite whale for favorite dragon. <laughs> we got a counter. All right, I feel like that's all our whales. I think we're out of bounds spells, basically. Maybe there's one more viper somewhere. Mm, no, the other viper's in the graveyard? Okay, so I think we're fully out of bouncing. Oh no, they can start playing cards back from the graveyard. <laughs> it's not like we've killed anything. Everything has been bounced the entire game. Broodlord, continuing to push on. Okay, so at this point we just have to like outrace them, I guess. Like there's really no more dirtling to be done. Dirtling time is over. This makes everything cheaper. We got six mana left. So maybe it's a whale plus a viper. Sure. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right, you got it. And here. All right, they finally get to attack this thing, which is unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. So they get to kill a Tarkir. And our goal is just race them dead as quickly as we can. One damage. I'll take it. Uh, we don't take the ping, though, because um, you can only play those cards this turn. We're pretty set on playing the whale, so we'll decline, actually. Plus, we're running out of time. Okay. <laughs> Thunderous debut. <laughs> All right. What does that do? Top 20 cards in your library. Uh, all right, two creature guards bargained onto the battlefield. Mm. <laughs> man, we need we need a fling, man. We need a beanstalker giant and a fling. Like the win con is definitely missing from this deck. Okay, flying haste. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot to deal with. I don't know about that. Brotherhood's end. Sure. Again, decline. Three damage everywhere. Okay. Okay, here comes a whale. It's not enough, though. I mean, we just... Oh, these guys have reach. That's kind of interesting, actually. Well, we're not blocking, so we're definitely attacking. That much is clear. And we might just lose on the crackback. But they might block out a few. No, they take it all. Drop to seven. These guys have reach. Give me some reach, creatures. Two mana left. I guess it's you. You're a flyer, too. We got some blockers. Game is not over. Opponent is down to seven. Yeah, touch those cards, baby. <laughs> touch that reach creature. <laughs> it's the beanstalk worm. Oh, I mean, there's a good chance we lose this turn, but uh, there's a good chance we win next turn also. Actually, maybe that's a little too hopeful. There's a good chance we don't die right here. We'll see. I don't know. Okay, does that remove him from the battlefield? No, Graveyard Hand Library. That takes the other worm from the hand, which is too bad, and then we draw a card. That is too bad. Land is not it. You only have two blockers. One of them dies to the Thunder Maw. So block here, take 12, still alive. They can pump that. Twice? Take 14? Still alive? Okay. Game's not over. But I don't like that we lost one of our reach creatures. I don't love that. Ooh, baby. Attack all. That's pretty interesting. Uh, can they win here? 
Oh, it's for every dragon. I always forget this thing. Yeah, okay, they just won then. I forgot that that's busted. That's busted. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, good game. Man, we tried. Yeah, I mean, the Dirtle power is decent. It's plenty of bounce stuff. The draw power is okay. Like, it's insane. If you have Baluna early, you draw a ton of cards. Virtue of Courage is, like, kind of cute. Uh, but man, the win con, you need the Beanstalk Giants, 2020 late game, you know, the little, the pesky three, three mana, three, one flyer. Flaying was all kind of key stuff missing from the deck, but we'll keep playing with it. We'll see. On the play, we can keep this. Start with the tap land. Orzov, gain of life. Okay. Fast lines coming in. Play out our little rampy creature. Got a lot of sentinels. Another fast land here, and we'll go ahead and swing for two. Oh, it takes it, and we'll play out the Sentinel. No targets, though. Sure. Maybe they'll go for the throw action. Edict. Yeah, I'll, I mean, we have the backup Sentinel. But, uh, I don't know. I think we still sack this guy. Wow, a lot of Field of Ruins. Someone going for uh, Land Destruction Tribal. Oh no, wait, that's so bad. <laughs> we actually don't have any basics. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well, I have a good idea how this game's gonna go. Let's go. Yeah, they're just gonna Field of Ruins again. <laughs> Okay, we probably need Sakenzen just for the lands, right? Should we just kill him? Can we just kill him? Okay, we got another land. That's pretty big. Is this not legendary? Oh, this man's... Oh my god, this guy's not legendary. I thought he was legendary. He looks legendary. He's not. My bad. Okay. I feel like we're gonna lose. This is not bad though. Can we get up to five mana? That'd be huge. I think we just wanna get up to five mana and reload. I think they sweep here and then we Baluna and they play Sentinel, get Baluna back. Okay, so they just went and got the Sweeper, I guess? Cool, so we hit the land. So we just get in there. And then, uh, pay five and mill seven. I think they got a Sweep here. They definitely have to. Yep. That's fine. Okay, let's see how many adventure cards we get. Nice. Okay, I'm feeling okay about this. <laughs> Alright, so maybe questing druid. There's so much value. I can't turn down all the value. There's so much value. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We got we got too many things to do here. I mean we're just being greedy at this point. So your next end step. We don't have that long to play all this stuff. Okay, we might as well Lightning Strike face, I guess, or play the next Druid here. Let's get another Druid down. Alright, we'll run in that team or value, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was a pretty nice draw 7 or whatever we just did there. We can always Balloon it to get back, or Sentinel to get back Balloon again. That seems excessive, though. But we got a lot of draw power here. Union. I'm scared of, I'm scared of decking here, actually. Uh, I think we'll keep going, though. Nice. Power you guys up a little bit. Now, this guy makes permanent spells with an adventure cost less to cast. It's only this turn, though. Definitely play you. And I guess we can play you out normally. Trying to keep track of what, uh, what's exiled for a turn and what's exiled, you know, an adventure perpetually. I think these guys are good to go. 
but the worm is there for that turn. We got a lot of value. We do. We have infinite cards for the rest of the game, so we just need to like get through their um, sweepers and stuff. It's fine. We still got more stuff to play. Land is good. I don't think we need to get any of these back off the Sentinel. Like, we just have so much card draw off the balloon if we want it. So that got cheaper. Um, yeah, I guess that's all we're doing this turn. We can't cast the other half. That's fine. Okay. So I got some Planeswalkers. One top, three bottom. Sure. I mean, we could flash in the whale for cheap now. It's a little bit silly. It's not awful. I think let's see what, what Balloon holds. What do we got? 33 down to 27 cards. <laughs> Alright, give me some good adventures here. Okay, nothing to stop that, so you're dead. That's okay. Play with fire. That could be intro off the virtue. It's not like we need more cards. We gotta just win at this point. <laughs> we gotta just... We gotta just freaking get in there and uh, get the W. Okay, swing for three. I think our goal is to win off Virtual Courage and play with fire. There's too many things going on here. We got too many cards. We don't need this many cards. <laughs> we need to do non-zero amounts of damage. That's good. Lose a life. That gets us closer. How many, how many things we got in here? Oh, this is not working that well. Play with fire. Lightning strike. We got some damage to the deck still. Depopulate. That's fine. 24 cards to go. They're at 12 life. I don't like that. That I don't love as much. Maybe we start flashing in whales at this point. Okay. Maybe we're flashing in whales here. Ugh. Maybe well, we don't need all these balloonas. Um, the worm can also maybe go. This guy's not that useful, I don't think. All right, let's keep let's keep whales and uh, direct damage. Urza again. Zero to the top. Okay. Draw twice. Fine. Okay. Draw again. Sure. All right, nine counters. A little scary. Gain of life, could matter. All right, give me some whales here. A whale, at least. We're going face. We're, get, we're getting it done. Now, we do need to... I guess we not got another turn. Oh, uh, we can Sentinel to get the damage back. Okay, let's see. Let's try to go face, see if they let us. They do. All right, I think we got the win. I got the, we got the win. <laughs> All right, so we do this. We bounce the Virtue. What a messy freaking game. Give me that back. Exile your graveyard. Okay, we got to figure this deck out, man. It's Obviously, we can draw insane amounts with Baluna. It's just like, are the cards good enough? How many adventures to run? That was weird. Oh, we got to figure this deck out. Oh, man. Teamer. It's got to be in there. We got to figure it out. Okay, this looks a little suspect. We can try this. I think we go Spire on one and hold open Virtue of Courage for Rat Tribal. Minus one, minus one. Well, that's pretty good against the Otter. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just go Tap Land here and then maybe Virtue on two. Could also get the Viper down. I think we'll just nab this thing for two. The Viper also dies to the rat dying, so it's probably the better play here. We can also <laughs> instant speed the whale in. Uh, top or bottom of the library. <clears throat> okay, it's a couple rats coming out. Cool. Well, I think we'll blast you. 
Down to 17. Rat aggro. I guess we can return the virtue back to our hand. Seems okay. Sure, let's do it. Oh, we can choose all these. Ah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I want you. And we'll exile your graveyard. Okay. A little bit of value there. I didn't realize you get all those effects. That's pretty good, especially if the opponent plays any adventures. Uh, yeah. Oh, it gets plus two, plus two. Hmm. I guess that's not great. They what, play with fire. I'll take two. More land for us. I guess we're trying to get to the whale eventually. Probably want a virtue of courage this thing. We could bounce a rat. How good is that? <laughs> Feels unnecessary. I think we'll just, just chill for a second. I think we're winning the long game, right? They're low to the ground rat tribe. But what are we doing here? I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I think we're just hanging out. Okay, so we're going to virtue of courage the ratter. And then uh, see what else they got going on. Another ratter. Hmm. All right. Okay. Whoops, probably should do that first. That's okay. We can always bounce this thing, I guess. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> this is very silly. Can they sack it? That's pretty good. Nope, I guess not. Okay, you won. Down to 13. Yeah, we'll go ahead and dump one of these guys. Getting close to whale territory. Another one of those isn't bad either. What are we doing with these otters? I feel like these otters should not be in the deck. I don't know what to do with this thing either. I guess we can just bounce the rat. Sure. I was kind of waiting for something more interesting, but this is fine. And yeah, we can play this out. Do we even need to play an otter though? I just, I don't know if this card's, this card maybe doesn't belong in the deck. We're doing some weird kind of long grindy game. All right, fine. They got another rat. Okay. Sure. That's fine. We'll hang out here. That's kind of an issue. I mean, they're still potentially holding play with fire. Do nothing, though. Hmm. I think we take the turn off to Virtue of Courage. And maybe we trade off this guy with the Sewer King. Piper Swarm. Doesn't sound good. Uh, one one rat crew can't block. They don't do anything, though. Okay, here we go. We're making moves here. So I guess we go two damage to the face. Okay, lands okay. Play an additional land. I don't know. We're kind of just gonna die here. Is this worth it? I mean, we're close to the whale at least. I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna play out this as a blocker, even though we take one damage. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling amazing about our life choices right now, but we'll just sit here another minute. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're gonna lose. Oh no. More rats? Nothing in the graveyard, I guess. They gotta start attacking eventually. They gotta just get in there. Just gotta get it. Okay, here we come. Nope, leave you back. Leave you guys back. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll actually just trade off here. Take four. Still quite a lot of damage. Yeah, they got the plus two. Down to eight. Land. What are we doing this turn? <laughs> I think I want to play you. I kind of want to play you and get back the next Virtue of Courage to draw more next turn. So if we're going to do that, we can attack with this guy, I guess. 
We're almost dead here. We just did. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's very close. We're basically just dead here. If we play out the Sentinel, we are straight up dead. Okay, so we can't do that. So let's just play out a creature blocker. Uh, this game is not uh, not going great. I don't think the otter belongs in the deck. I don't think the little... Uh, I don't think the Scalding Viper does either. Other rats control have Toxic. Okay. I mean, I'm glad they printed more rats, because this poor rat gang has been pretty sad for a while. Ay ay ay. Discard a card. Well, it's too bad. I kind of wanted to play that guy. Yeah, I think they just slam attack all here. I mean, they win next turn unless we can sneak through victory somehow. Yup. Okay. Alright. Five, six, seven. Drop to... Drop to one. No problem. All we gotta do is win this turn. Okay, I don't think we're getting there. <laughs> I don't think it's happening this game. We gotta go back to the drawing board. We gotta figure out adventures. It's not this. The otters gotta go. I mean, this is pretty cool. We just put them all into our hand. Like, there's definitely a lot of value there. We have lost, though. Yes, we have definitely lost. What's this guy even do? Okay. Good game. It's fine. I can't. <laughs> We're going back to the drawing board. We'll figure this one out. It's not this deck, though. All right. Thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.